Evan, like every, <laughs> Evan, fine. Um, hi, everyone. It's, uh, it's good to see you. And so I knew that, actually. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, our uh, next list. Um, so I will, I will talk quickly about, uh, about Hive Keychain and the uh, new development. Uh, how do I move this? Okay. All right. Um, I will just go quickly uh, over what uh, Hive Keychain is for those who wouldn't know. Uh, so it's a secure Hive wallet extension. Uh, right now it works on Chrome, Opera, Brave, and Firefox. Um, you can make all your basic uh, Hive operations uh, from a, a simple interface. Uh, DApps can connect to it to, um, to request uh, operations as well. And this way you can keep all your keys locally. It's open source and it's made possible by all of you thanks to the uh, proposal system. Um, so the, here I, I go over some recent additions uh, to the extension. I, I improved the onboarding. So um, now dApps that uh, create new accounts can directly send uh, this account to uh, be integrated in Keychain. Uh, you can buy Hive and HVD uh, directly from the extension. Uh, there are more Keychainify key functions, but that means that actually some of the um, uh, Hive signer link will directly be open uh, into the similar operation um, in the extension. Uh, we also uh, prevent phishing uh, by giving some warnings when you do transfers. Um, uh, also, for the developers, we added some, um, some requests possible, and also something that have the good of uh, a lot of good uh, feedback recently is uh, uh, we added the possibility to claim reward and the free accounts automatically. And um, also, uh, now we can export um, the QR code, uh, the the account via QR code, and uh, I, I will talk about why later. Um, we have over 9,000 users now across the brothers, uh, but to be honest, I'm at least five of them. Um, and Keychain is used over uh, a lot of the, the major Hive tabs, uh, as you can see here. Uh, I think I counted that 12 of the 20 main Hive tabs uh, are using Keychain, which is not bad, but we can do better. So. Um, after the, the, the extension became quite mature, I, uh, we asked ourselves, what, what can we do uh, to still uh, add value to the Hive ecosystem? And actually, I think something we, we don't have enough right now are mobile apps. There are some, but they, that could be better. So, um, yeah. yeah. So I started working on the on a, a mobile keychain, so for both Android and uh, and iOS, and now the the basic feature, features are are ready, and we've done some uh, internal testing already on Android, and actually next week, um, you'll be able to to start testing it if you don't mind giving your email because at first that, there will be a, a closed test, and for iOS that that should be by next month. So I will show you a little bit. Um, so here you see the first, uh, on the left, you see the, the first screen you see when you arrive. Uh, then you can enter uh, your new account by either, either the master key, but that will not be saved like uh, in the extension or private key, or directly by scanning the, the QR code uh, that was recently implemented uh, on the extension. Um, to unlock, um, we use a, a PIN code, but also uh, we use the biometrics uh, to make sure that your keys are already safe. Uh, here you have a view of the, of the wallet, um, so you, you can do all your basic operations from there. Uh, for now, we have uh, already the, the transfers, the delegations for up and down. Um, yeah, so here you can see a model uh, that show uh, the transfer. The only thing missing uh, right now is the, the capability to, to encrypt 
um, the memos because I, I actually well, I, I we didn't go to the technical details, uh, but the app is uh, coded in React Native and uh, there's some problem um, implementing this. That, that will not be easy, but uh, we will do it later. Um, you have a, a drawer panel that you you can uh, you can open to go to your management keys to log out to add new accounts, and actually on the left side you can see uh, behind um, is also all the Hive Engine tokens, and uh, you can do transfers as well uh, on it. Yeah. Um, so that's it for now for the. The app, there, there's still a lot that will be done in the future. Uh, but right now, I need your help to break things. So for this, uh, join our Discord. So you have a QR code here. If you're in, uh, in 2D, you can scan it. Uh, otherwise, uh, I posted an hour ago on the Keychain account. So you can just go there and, uh, and find the link, link as well. Um, for those who would need test accounts uh, to do that, I can uh, I have some uh, free account tickets, so I, I can create a few accounts. Um, as I said before, for now it's a closed test, so uh, you 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 will need to give um, your uh, Android email to join. So if you're not uh, if you don't feel good about that, you can just uh, maybe wait uh, one more month and uh, it will be open. Um, I really need someone who has a Pixel 4 to help testing because there's a non-issue uh, with one of the things that I implemented. So, uh, and uh, that's not something I can test with an emulator, so that would be great uh, if someone with a Pixel 4 could join the test. Uh, and yeah, break things and uh, feel issues on, uh, on GitHub. So what's next? Um, once once I'm, uh, we're um, satisfied with the current status, we will open uh, to a beta and uh, everybody can join. Um, more operations, like for example, converting HBDs um, will be added to, to the wallet. And after that, the, the, the two other big steps will be to implement an in-app browser um, so that dApps like uh, PigD or HiveBlog or, or whatever can use directly, uh, can be used directly from the, the keychain app and uh, use the keychain operations, so no keys are, are needed on the phone. And also app to app connections, so mobile app uh, requesting to the Hive keychain mobile app to, for example, make a transfer. So I think that would be really interesting. So a lot of uh, mobile dApps could be created without requesting directly the keys from their users. Um, something that will come later, but I think would be really nice is a uh, is to provide the keychain extension without key. So basically you would uh, scan a QR code uh, from your phone and then, uh, for example, if you're on an insecure uh, computer, um, actually every time you do something from your brother on the computer, it will request on your phone the confirmation. So I, I think that, that would be really nice. And um, something I've discussed for a long time with uh, Quokui uh, would be the ledger integration. Uh, uh, but I think so far, uh, Nate also created a, a ledger app, but I don't think it has been accepted by ledger. So we, we cannot really do it for now. But that's uh, definitely something we would like to do in the future. Uh, so this is for our team. Uh, originally, uh, Keychain was founded by Yabab Mate and Agrod. Uh, I'm the main developer. Uh, but we also had uh, some contribution from uh, Archange and uh, and Kwokwi and uh, and some others. Uh, and it's thanks to Nate Aguila that we get this great UI. He he's working, he's making amazing work. And uh, uh, yeah. So I don't know if we still have time for questions. Uh, I, I put the QR code to the Discord again here. Uh, and another one, if you want to follow Keychain, I'm I'm posting weekly updates uh, according to uh, to what I said uh, in our proposal. So yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, Roland, do I have time for questions? Or... Yes, uh, one question. Uh, the the question was the first to hit the raise hand can ask a question. Raise yeah. hand on the right bottom. Okay, does anybody have a question? It's yes, Hivebuzz. 
You are on air. Please ask your question. Sorry, Lemony. Uh, yes, sorry, it was a mistake. <laughs> okay, yeah. Lemony, you're in luck. It's uh, yours. Okay, please do it again. Ask again. I muted you accidentally. Lemony, please click unmute. Uh, hello? Yes. Okay. Uh, so you mentioned uh, ledger integration. Um, what about uh, Trezor integration? Any Anything uh, planned for that? Did you hear it, the question? Did, did you hear the question, Stutkev? I'm not hearing you, Stutkev. Are you muted? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was muted. Uh, no, I didn't hear the question. The volume is very low. Okay, sorry. The question was, uh, so you mentioned a ledger integration. Uh, when uh, do you think, uh, well, do you have kind of a time frame on, on, on that? Um, actually, Kwokwi, who's a witness, um, was ready to work on it. Uh, but the thing is, uh, Netwoso already uh, developed the, the app that need to be on the ledger side. It was months ago and it never been approved. Uh, as far as I know, it's never been approved by Ledger. So Sorry, as long as uh, we don't have this, we, we cannot my, do anything. My question yeah. wasn't about Ledger, it was about Trezor. I, I want to know about the uh, the other um, oh. wall type of wallet, uh, the Trezor. Oh. You, you know what it is, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, all right, That that's something that uh, I would need other people to, to step in to do this and, uh, of course, would be rewarded with a bounty. Um, but this is not a, a, a top priority right now. But, um, yeah, if really that, that's something that the, the community wants, lots of people are interested in, uh, in it, sure. I, I mean, we, we're always waiting for uh, what our user wants. So. Okay, if, good enough, uh, thanks. Yeah. Great. Uh, thank you very much. Right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please yeah. give a round thank of applause you for, for Stuttgart. Yeah. yeah, well, I like some real saying some better. <laughs> but hey, it's the best we can do, right? <laughs> Let's not do uh, Hey, yeah. look at all these uh, clappings, yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Oh, wow, yes. <laughs>